The U.S.-Mexico border stretches for 2,000 miles, 700 of which already have some sort of barrier. We don't know how many people it has deterred, but getting round it requires some skill. In Nogales, the first fence went up in the 90s, splitting the town in half. The cartels, who control the drug trade and the people smuggling, responded by going underground. I'm joining a patrol of the water tunnels that run under the border, connecting Mexico and the United States. We don't know who we might run into, so the police go ahead of us. We don't know what to expect. Precaution is needed. So what, what just happened? ¿Qué, qué pasó recién? They use the cover of darkness and wait for the right moment to head towards the U.S. end of the tunnel. So the policeman just told me that after they turned on the flashlight, they saw someone and this person ran away. Minutes later, we catch a glimpse of him in the distance. He's not moving. And Sergio is point, pointing at this person with, with a flashlight. Sergio believes it's better to back up and alert the police, so we are heading towards the entrance of the tunnel. I met up once I entered an odor of gasoline pegado a la línea. In the city, I met up with about 20 people. I was sitting in the dark, it was very dark. And what happened, Bombero? No, no, Bombero, we're all good. Here you didn't see anything, and you're going to The traffickers use not only the subterranean infrastructure. The authorities have found more than 110 tunnels built by Mexican cartels. They call them narco tunnels, and they make Nogales the tunnel capital of the border. In this cemetery, one of them hides in plain sight. This is the entrance of a tunnel which was recently filled in. They used to carry drugs to the other side of the border and as you can see the fence is just about 100 meters from here. On the American side Tony Estrada has been a sheriff for 25 years. He isn't sure the wall President Trump wants to build will be effective. They're very creative. If you do anything they'll go under it, they'll go over it and they'll go around it. So it's a phenomenon that's not going to stop. No wall, no matter how beautiful and how big or how expensive, is going to stop people that are desperate, people that are needy, and people that are poor. Estrada says the deportation rates taking place in the U.S. show that the authorities are missing the point. Illegal immigration, as far as I'm concerned, pales, pales compared to the drug problem. When you're spending all your resources, on illegal immigration, and, and you're talking about relocating, identifying people that are living in the community, that have families and are contributing, it's useless. It's, it's not putting your resources to the best. Criminal aliens, I've said it for years. Yes, go after them. Let's get out of the criminal aliens, but don't bother anybody else. This shelter in Nogales opened three decades ago. Since then, it has received hundreds of thousands of migrants. We find hope and faith but also sadness and pain. Eusebio Ortiz was deported a day ago. She tried to enter the U.S. after coming to Mexico to see her family. Nos salió la migración y yo tuve que correr, pero mis pies no me ayudaron y me caí. Fue que me me hizo un deslice mi pie. She has lived for 13 years in Florida picking tomatoes. Despite the risky journey, she's already planning to go back. If anyone is able to judge the success of a wall, it is perhaps the people smugglers. This one says it has reduced numbers. He was happy to appear on camera, but asked us not to name him. No, así funciona, y bastante funciona, ¿me entiendes? O sea, se ha bajado mucho, ¿me entiendes? De, de la 
lo de indocumentado por la cuestión del muro. For him, a bigger wall could mean fewer clients but more money. Pues va a subir, se me hace que el doble de lo que se cobraban, 6, 7 van a cobrar hasta 12, 14, ¿me entiendes? Va, va a subir muchísimo, pues, ¿me entiendes? Y mucha gente va, va a seguir elevando, pues. Y siempre va a, seguir, va a haber gente que lo va a pagar. Nogales may be an example of the mixed and complex nature of border towns and of the unintended consequences of building barriers. A wall will stop some people, but others will find another way round.